For his last two outings, decisions over Rocky Rivero in Cleveland. Both went 10 rounds. Giardello with the educated left twice. Okay, Joey! There's the looping right hand by the champion and then right and left by Giardello. And the crowd behind him as the champion moves in with his combinations again, a right to the body, Giardello. Joey coming on strong now. The bell ending round two. And here's Hal Freeman. As much of the pre-fight talk was about Giardello's working hard to go 15 rounds, and that much was said about Reuben Hurricane Carter, but his, he has somewhat of a dedication to boxing. He's, they call him surly. They say that he's not very cooperative with people who want to interview him and people who want to talk with him, but uh, he, he's dedicated himself to this boxing, you know, and he came down into, worked out in the same gym with Giardello, of course, at a later time, and made a fast legion of friends in the few days that he was here. He came into town uh, last Wednesday and uh, built a big following in only the four days that he worked there, but he, he comes into this boxing game purely dedicated. He has, it's somewhat of a cult with him. He was very strange about his goatee. He would not take it off until the day, uh, right today, right before the weigh-in. And, but of course, Joey looks in the best shape of his career. He trained hard for the 15 rounds. All right, Hal, Joey's only lost 22 times in 126 fights. Two wins over Rivero. Since winning the title, they were over the weight. He beat Dick Tiger on Pearl Harbor Day in Atlantic City of 63. Tiger has challenged the winner of this one. A hard right to the eye. Hurricane Carter landing his best punch. That was a pip of a right thrown by the Hurricane. Landed on the left eye. Another right, but Joey was ducking under it. Watch Giardello work in close. He's a master at infighting. First Carter wants one good shot. Joey Giardello was a long time getting a shot at the title and winning it. Fighting a draw with Gene Fulmer several years ago in Bozeman, Montana. It was the closest he's come until he defeated Dick Tiger. Bob Polis is the third man in the ring. Long left, but Giardello backpedaling away. A right to the air, and Carter lands a bomb and then misses two more. And Giardello forced him to miss three straight after that. But Carter definitely landed a right. And then Joey forced him to miss three. There's Carter smiling for the first time, then getting hit with the right. <clears throat> of course, Giardello's been hit by the best of them in a career spanning 16 years. Age, a question. Joey, 34. There have been those asking, can he go 15 against a puncher like Carter? We're halfway through round three. Neither man hurt. Although Carter landed a pip of a right hand. Carter's smiling now through clenched teeth. And then he gets hit with a right. Giardello likes a man who comes in and throws bombs at him. If he can counter, go from side to side, straight left's exchange. Those close to the Giardello camp say Joey is in the best shape of his career for this fight. They had planned to fight in October in Las Vegas, and after a two-week intermission, they started training again, both of them. Giardello backed away from a chopping right hook. Carter, a physical specimen. He's got muscles on muscles. Left hand. Carter, poised with the right, held back, and takes a left to the chop thrown by the champion. Watch the champion work in close. This is round three. The bell. Okay, you can relax for a minute now. I'll give you enough time to rustle up another glass of Schmitz. Great sport and great beer. They just naturally go together. And if you really love beer, why settle for anything less than the ultimate? Schmitz of Philadelphia. Beer as beer should be. I guess now everybody who has ever tried it knows that Schmitz is the beautiful beer. If you're holding on to something less than Schmitz, you just try one beautiful beer, and I'm betting you'll be a Schmitz fan right down to the final bell. 
a light, dry, fun beer. Schmitz, just beautiful. Here's Hal Freeman. Les, we saw there that uh, Giardello doesn't seem to have as terrific a punch as, as Carter. Giardello has not landed really a solid punch in this fight yet. He hasn't thrown a good right hand. But uh, if he can just keep the pace going and get past the sixth or seventh round, I think that we'll see a, a long distance fight. And here's round four, Les Kiter. The champion just winked in our direction. Joey supremely confident as always. But Hurricane Carter, a man on a mission tonight. Giardello immediately moving clockwise. Hands at the ready and Carter with a left hand down takes a light left tap on the cheek. The bald pate belongs to Hurricane Carter. First name, Reuben. Carter fainted a couple of times and threw a right. Giardello ducked under him. Carter fastened a sneer on Joey in the second round. He's kept it since. Reminiscent of a man named Liz. A battle of left hands thus far. Both men exploiting the left or right to the ear thrown by Carter. And Joey winced at that. I think there's a cut on the left side of Joey's face. There is. Carter has drawn blood. Trickling cut on the eye. Cut right over the left eyebrow is the champion. Just at the corner of the left eyebrow and it's trickling blood slightly at the moment. Bob Polis, the referee. So Carter draws blood for the first time. Misses a right uppercut. Lands a left to the nose of the champion. The champ misses twice. Another left by Carter, and Carter's getting to Giardello. Joey ties him up right over our microphone. Carter doing well inside now. Carter's best round up to here. Main cut now on the left eyebrow of the champion, and blood trickling down. At this juncture, it does not look like a serious cut. Giardello with a looping right, Carter bobbing, weaving. The crowd up in the air, you hear him. Gioi Giardello throwing combinations now. Carter with a hard left knock. Giardello into the ropes. Right to the body by Carter. And the champion holding on definitely now to clear his head. As a right hand hit him in the eye, left to the chin by Carter. Carter working the champion over, and Joey's in trouble against the ropes. Joey fights back, but his left eye badly cut now. A laceration on the left eyebrow, and Carter throwing the bombs here in round four. But here comes the champion back with a right to the chin. The test of a champion, how he can fight when he's hurt. And we're seeing now, here's Joey. With all Carter in this round until right now. Champion trying to fight back. A right to the body, Giardello, but not too much effect. And a left, tied up. Giardello with a mean cut now on the left eyebrow. Knocked off. His feet momentarily into the upper strand of the ropes. At one point, here's Giardello working on the body in a combination. Carter gets him against the ropes and the bell. Coming out of round four, I hope you're enjoying this fight with a beer as beer should be. Schmitz of Philadelphia. One beautiful beer. Beautiful putt. Beautiful beer. So Schmitz is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Schmitz! One beautiful beer. Remember, you can get Schmitz in bottles, throw away glass cans, and on draft. But no matter how you buy it, it's always one beautiful beer. They're working feverishly now over in Giardello's corner, but he has one of the best cut men in the business, Les. That's Joe Polino, who's worked for a number of champions. He worked for Liston, and they seem to have the eye patched up. Now will come the real test whether Joey can come back strong. Here's round five and Les Kiter. The photographers uh, move to ringside with their cameras ready. Round number five, Carter definitely had his best round and cut Joey. Here's Joey coming back right at the bell. A one-two punch by the champion to open round number five at Convention Hall in Philadelphia. Hurricane Carter, the challenger. That's a patch on Joey's left eyebrow. He was cut in round number four. 
Joey went in, looked around, got out of there. Light left. Giardello. Joey moving clockwise. Carter continuous, continuously stalking his man. Bobbing, weaving. Joey with a left jab. Watch Carter as he stalks the champion now. He's got that Fu Manchu mustache. Makes him a distinctive looking warrior in there. Make no mistake about him, Carter can hit. And Joey knows it now. A left to the chin by the champion. Carter, of course, has fast hands. Every now and then there's a light right thrown by Carter, Giardello backing away, but Joey letting him know he's the champion, throws the right, misses the follow-up. Left jab, Carter. Joey's cut.